Computer Basics Start simple. Know what a computer actually is. The CPU is the brain that runs instructions. RAM is the short-term memory, the sticky notes your brain uses right now, while storage, SSD or HDD is the long-term diary where everything stays even when the power goes off. The operating system, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, is the manager that keeps hardware, files, and programs playing nicely together. You don't need to memorize every tiny spec, but you should understand the life cycle of a program. It starts, uses memory and CPU, reads writes files, and then stops. A little practical habit? Open Task Manager or Activity Monitor. Launch an app and watch which processes light up and gobble RAM. It's like spying on your computer's heartbeat. And trust me, this observation habit will make you 10 times sharper later when debugging or analyzing suspicious behavior. Oh, and by the way, I already made a detailed video covering computer basics. If you want the full breakdown, just click the little I button on your screen. Networking. Cybersecurity is basically social networking for machines. Devices need to talk, and they do it through networks. Here's the cheat sheet. IP addresses are like street addresses for devices. Ports are the doors. For example, websites usually hang out at port 80 or 443. DNS is the phone book, translating names like example.com into IP addresses. Data itself travels in packets, little chunks of information, kind of like digital postcards. And the famous TCP handshake? That's just two computers saying, hey, you there? Yep, I'm here. Cool, let's chat. Pro tip, log into your home router's admin page. Look at the local IP range, usually something like 192.168.1.x. Suddenly, your Wi-Fi devices aren't invisible. They're a tiny digital neighborhood, and you're the mayor. Programming. Don't panic. You don't need to be the next Mark Zuckerberg, but you do need to write and read simple code. Start with Python. It's readable, friendly, and almost every hacking or security tool loves it. Learn how to open files, loop through lists, grab data with regular expressions, and maybe send a simple network request. Add a sprinkle of bash scripting for Linux automation. Even chaining a few commands can save you hours. Later, if you want to peek under the hood, dip into C just enough to understand how memory works. Mini project idea. Write a Python script that pings every IP in a text file, or extract email addresses from a messy block of text. These little scripts are like your baby hacking tools, and building them teaches you how the big, fancy tools really work. Linux Basics. If hacking was a video game, Linux would be the main map. Most servers and security tools live here, so you need to get comfy with it. Install a Linux VM, use it daily, and learn its layout. Slash etc, slash var, slash home. Those are like the neighborhoods of a city. Now the terminal commands. ls dash shows the files in your current folder, like opening your fridge to see what's inside. cd changes directory, basically walking into a different room. cat prints the content of a file. Quick and dirty way to read stuff. grep searches text for keywords. Perfect for finding that one error in a sea of logs. Awk, great for splitting data into columns. Think Excel, but scarier. Sed, edits text on the fly. Replace words without even opening the file. Chmod, sets file permissions. Who can read, write, or execute. Chown, changes ownership of a file. Handy when Linux says, sorry, you're not the boss here. PS, shows running processes. Basically task manager without the pretty window. SS slash netstat, shows active network connections and listening ports. IP displays network settings, like your IP address. Ping throws tiny, are you alive, messages at another machine. Traceroute shows every stop your packet makes on its road trip across the internet. Tail shows the last few lines of a file. With dash F, you can watch logs update in real time. Journal CTL, system logs, managed by systemd, like your Linux diary. At first, this will feel like trying to talk to an alien, but once you use them daily, you'll wonder why you ever clicked through slow menu. Operating systems. Different OS, different quirks. On Windows, learn a few PowerShell commands, where event logs live, and understand services and the registry at a high level. On Linux, get comfy with systemd units, cron jobs, and how permissions protect files. These internals explain both why vulnerabilities exist like weak service permissions, and where defenders check for trouble. If you can say, logs are stored here, services run like this, congratulations, you've just leveled up. Tools. 
Tools are awesome, but don't worship them. Understand why they exist. InMap scans hosts to see which ports are open. Translation, which doors are unlocked. Wireshark captures network traffic, like reading other people's postcards, but legally in your lab. Burp Suite intercepts what your browser sends slash receives. Amazing for seeing web apps naked. Metasploit, an exploitation framework. Not a toy, but a controlled lab powerhouse. John slash Hashcat, analyze password hashes to study strength in labs only. VS Code plus Git, for notes, scripts, and documenting what you've learned. Core cybersecurity concepts. Tools alone won't make you a hacker. Concepts will. Learn what a firewall actually blocks. How antivirus and EDRs detect malware. The difference between hashing and encryption. Understand authentication, passwords, MFA, and why 123456 is basically the digital version of leaving your door wide open. Add some basic cryptography knowledge and study common misconfigurations, like default credentials or open ports. And don't forget privacy. Knowing what data is sensitive and how to protect it is as important as finding a vulnerability. Communities. Here's the fun part. Join communities, hang out in Discord or Reddit groups for beginners, follow security blogs, and, most importantly, get hands-on with legal platforms like TryHackMe, OverTheWire, and PicoCTF.